Washington Governor Jay Inslee announced it's unsafe for most Washington students to return to the classroom. Jenny Young in Clark County tonight, where 45 more people tested positive for coronavirus today. Jenny, several districts there saying they plan to begin the school year online. What else do parents need to know? Well, Jeff, Governor Inslee and the state superintendent giving out guidelines today saying that these are just recommendations. They're not legally binding, but they did say that so many of these districts really wanted framework, and the state is really being flexible with them. This is a challenge for all of us. Guidelines for Washington school districts as they reopen this fall are broken down into categories based on each county's risk for disease transmission, high, moderate, or low. State officials say the majority of counties fall in the high and moderate categories. We've tried to make this decision at the right moment, and that means late enough to get the best, most recent epidemiological information but early enough where it still allows local school boards to consider and make reasoned judgments based on the recommendations from our Department of Health. For districts in a high-risk county, Governor Inslee recommends online learning and no in-person extracurricular activities. For those in a county considered moderate risk, state leaders say in-person learning could be an option for elementary students, but they recommend distance learning for middle school and high school students. And in the state's low-risk counties, leaders recommend a hybrid of in-person and online learning for all grades. The best model we have built is one that is in person that brings community supports in place, teaches kids amazing content, but they learn from each other. Um, they get nursing services, mental health supports, and all kinds of things. State Superintendent Chris Rakedell says in-person learning is, of course, ideal, but for the time being, it's just not safe. Our comprehensive in-person schools are really an amazing institution uh, that underwrites our economy and our democracy, but we can't get to that right now. So we also learned today that millions of dollars from the Federal CARES Act will go to Washington State schools to pay for things like internet and technology for low-income students and students who are out in rural areas where high-speed internet can be an issue. That money will also help train teachers who are working with new technologies for distance learning. It will also help feed students throughout the school year, throughout this semester. And if you want a list of those counties listed uh, by risk level, we've posted Posted that to coin.com. We're live tonight in Clark County. Jenny Young, Coin Six News. Jenny, thank you. Then